Hi, one and two year old leaders. We are preparing for Easter Sunday, April 21st and happy Easter. He is risen. He is risen indeed. How exciting to get to celebrate this with you, with the kids that we're going to have on Easter Sunday. I am prayerfully um, covering you as a leader, your family, my family, all of the families that will come and join us through the Easter season, because I want everybody, just like God, I want everybody to know this hope that we have, and I want everybody to find new life through through Jesus, and that um, through that new life that we can face tomorrow with hope that there is going to be a day where there is no more suffering and that we can um, rejoice and celebrate that together. Uh, today, during your small group time, you're going to get the chance to just have a big party to celebrate Jesus rising from the dead. Oh my gosh, I just can't even imagine what it would have been like to be in um, those disciples' shoes, to be in the ladies' shoes as they go and see that the tomb is empty. I'm sure it brought great distraught to them because they knew how he was treated as he died. But oh my goodness, the rejoicing that had to happen as he met them on the road and talked to them in person and reminded them of who he is. And so we are going to celebrate that today in small group. In small group time, you have a bunch of cute little flags like this. And you have party blowers and balloons and other signs that say um, Jesus is risen and all of this special thing, a bunch of different phrases. And what we want to do today is we want to have a parade up and down the children's ministry area and celebrate that God is alive and that everybody should celebrate that together because he did what he promised he was going to do. He saves us from our sins by sending Jesus. And it's not something that we need to mourn. We can celebrate because the God that loved us sent his son to die in our place and gave him new life again to show that we are not dead in our sinfulness anymore. We can be alive and we can live with him eternally. So have fun with your big parade. You have your memory verse still, if you'd like to go over it with kids today. Um, if you have a large group of kids that you know you haven't seen in a while or ever, um, just tell them that these are the words from the Bible and that we would love for them to help us practice using those words, realizing that on Easter Sunday, we have a lot of people that are new to church, new to everything. And so we want to make them welcome and not make them feel like they are being left out. There are good things happening and we want them to come back. So your memory verse is, this is real love. Draw a big heart, not that we loved God, point to God, but that he loved us, point to each one of the kids, and sent his son, like a baby, as a sacrifice sacrifice to take away our sins, like the cross, to take away our sins, 1 John 4, 10. And then... Um, the kids can take home their flags, their party blowers, their balloons, everything you want to send home with them. They are welcome to take those home because we want for them to tell their family this is a day worth celebrating. You can pray with them and love on them. Thank you so much for leading. I hope you're preparing yourselves to come join us next week for our huddle uh, as we talk about the party. All of you guys are equipped and ready to do this and we wanna help give you more so that you're ready to go this summer when it's time to lead your party and get it going. Happy Easter and thank you for leading.